Congressman Thomas, uh, in your testimony, you spoke about the crisis being used as a cover to regulate activities that had little to do with the financial crisis. Uh, can you tell us a little more about the uh, uh, regulatory, uh, what you described as overreach of the Dodd-Frank Act and the use of uh, the financial crisis as a pretext to uh, regulate activities that didn't cause or had nothing to do with the crisis? Uh, yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm, I'm pleased to say that one of the H's, Douglas holtz will be on the second panel. Uh, he is a, uh, a professional economist, and some of you may know was the former um, head of the Congressional Budget Office, and he is uh, much more conversant uh, with many of the provisions of uh, the Dodd-Frank Act. However, a couple of things are fairly obvious. And one is uh, the whole question that this Congress, at least a portion of the Congress, stressed during uh, uh, the Dodd-Frank Act that uh, the so-called uh, GSEs, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, really needed to be uh, dealt with. Um, and uh, I thought it should have been an integral part of um, the legislation. Um, the government bailouts, uh, when you look for overreach, the enhanced supervision, I really disagree with the majority that there was information uh, that was available uh, to regulars. In hindsight, it is always easy uh, to explain what happened, even if it's wrong. Uh, and as Samuelson, and I do urge you to read this recent article by Samuelson, uh, because it is so easy to focus on um, villains and victims, and unfortunately that's the direction we tend to go uh, politically. And that's why our conclusions looked at, we think, at more fundamental causes. And if we don't focus on those, we are going to be uh, doomed to repeat, notwithstanding a number of regulatory measures that were put in effect, uh, especially a portion of the derivatives legislation, um, not saying that there weren't certain kinds that were clearly part of the problem, but there are many others, and we're just now discovering, as we're getting testimony uh, recently uh, reported in the paper, about firms that use the derivatives to truly hedge against their input costs in producing products. That is a long time honored uh, procedure for derivatives, in fact, the historical use. Um, and, and this has to be revisited to be able to allow them to use this in, in a way uh, that is sound and appropriate and was never a cause, in, in my opinion, in any way uh, of the financial crisis. Uh, those are a couple of examples. Um, for example, eating your own cooking, uh, the idea that you're going to hang on to your own stuff and therefore you'll be more uh, sober. Uh, it was rather frightening for me to hear the testimony from uh, Lehman uh, in which uh, a number of the major executives, and in fact the top executives, uh, actually put into their basic portfolio um, uh, the uh, derivatives that were um, synthetic um, in, in a way that they, one, thought they were actually worth what they were supposed to be worth because they were AAA rated. Rating agencies obviously is another area uh, that needs to be dealt with. But that they seemed to be ignorant of the fact that they had to make margin calls if in fact the numbers changed relative to what they were holding. That was, that was fairly frightening uh, to some of us who thought that these people at least in some way earned the amounts of money that they were receiving. But that was so fundamental as to be shocking. So I do think there are some areas that were frankly just gathered up, not unlike the stimulus bill, that had been desired regulatory moves uh, uh, for some time and plugged into the Dodd-Frank Act. Uh, and there are clearly areas that were left out. Of course, it would have been nice to wait for our report to be able to analyze it, but frankly that was not of concern to me. Uh, I was pleased that we didn't have to come up with solutions just to try to analyze the cause. If we were supposed to come up with solutions, I wouldn't have volunteered uh, to be on the commission. Um, and we thought it was important to try to look at the causes, as I said, with a 6-4 vote, um, especially near the end. Uh, Ranking Member Frank responded to the fact that there were some 9-1 decisions. Yes, uh, those were early on. Um, I'd love someone to ask me about all the 6-4 decisions that occurred once it was clear uh, that the former majority was no longer going to be the majority. And then, after the election, 
what occurred in uh, late November and December on a number of 6-4 decisions, uh, which wound up producing a rather, what I consider to be, um, unfair and bizarre uh, situation on this commission, as opposed to the many other commissions that I served on, especially the bipartisan uh, commission on Medicare and several others.